1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 13 and following. Foods for the stomach, and the stomach for foods, but God will destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And God both raised up the Lord, and will also raise us up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot? Certainly not. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body with her? For the two, he says, shall become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body, but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, who you have from God, and that you are not your own, for you were bought with a price? Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So, the reason why I mean that is that the reason why the reason why I re read that is because um, God's really been teaching me lately about how di how difficult the, the the temptation of sexual immorality can be, and that you know even you know, thank God Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith, and salvation is one hundred percent one hundred percent of Him, is because. As John MacArthur said, if we could lose our salvation, we would. I mean, if you think about, you know, if we have like a lustful thought, or um, or 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 it, it, when we're awake, or when we're sleeping, you know, the, the stuff that enters into our brain. But the fact that Jesus died even for those thoughts, that that should just blow our minds. But anyway, and um, uh, I'm, in my next video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about King Dave and about how. Uh, how I've just been even more moved and, and deepened by his story and that how despite him being a man after God's own heart, even he, you know, even he struggled, struggled with sexual immorality. And, but anyway, I just wanted to read that and that, and that the gospel is our it is our only hope and thank God for it and that we can live in victory and resurrection and I'll just end with 1 Corinthians 5 7 therefore purge out the old leaven that you may be a new lump since you truly are unleavened for indeed Christ our Passover was sacrificed for us so thank God that it's the spirit that quickens us